I wanted to hit on this one because this had the entire internet talking this past weekend, and that was Logan Paul. He main evented WWE's crown jewel event in Saudi Arabia against Roman Reigns in just his third wrestling match ever. And he went viral because he did a frog splash to the outside while recording himself and posting it online after. We also found out after the match that he had torn his MCL and potentially his ACL as well. While he did this, keep in mind, this was absolutely insane. I want to ask you, is Logan Paul the greatest celebrity professional wrestler of all time? The the most success for a celebrity to ever step in the ring? What say you? A million percent. And I almost hate every second that I have to I acknowledge that. It's like, uh... It, yeah, like, you know, I was... Draws. They're draws. Look what Jake Paul just did business-wise. They're draws. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, obviously, that WWE is really good at, trying to bring that kind of thing in and bringing in a whole different audience. And this couldn't have been better timing for them, especially with Triple H taking over. Like, this is a great start for him. And I was skeptical at first because it's the Pauls. Like, he's one of the Pauls. And obviously, if you've been paying attention to all of the controversies and shenanigans that he's been involved in over the past couple years, I didn't have a lot of faith that this was going to work out. But he's consistently impressed me. I mean, it's only the third match, but this is a, I mean, a main event against... it's, um, It's incredible. And I think one part that I don't know that he's getting enough credit for because the physicality and the athleticism and all of that, like there's plenty of people who are athletic and whatever, but the, the idea that he's taking all the time to do this, which is great. It's the putting on the match, working with your opponent and your, or your partner and able to do it so fluidly that you can't tell that this was only his third match. I don't think he's getting enough credit for that because he this isn't his natural thing. He hasn't been doing this for five, 10, 20 years. No, but he is and, a natural. And yeah, it completely. Like, I mean, if you didn't know, if you weren't told that this was only his third match, there's no way I, I think that anyone would be able to tell. Logan Paul does little things right that it takes some professional wrestlers 10 plus years to get right. Yeah. And I say that having worked matches worked in indie wrestling helping lay out matches there are small little things that you learn over time and i don't know if it's his training he's been working with shane helms i don't know if it's working with a guy like roman reigns which is going to help you obviously he trained with Shawn michaels as well Shane with Shawn michaels Mm -hmm. whatever it is these little things are clicking and if if you haven't checked this out if you're not a pro wrestling fan i highly encourage you to go out of your way and even just YouTube some highlights from the match or whatever you can find, or even just watch this one frog splash that he did. Uh, It is Mm awe-inspiring. He has found a way to harness the outside energy, and he exudes superstar. I I can't believe I'm saying this stuff. I know. Well, and and the crazy thing, too, is, you know, you see it time and time again where someone will be have all of the athletics – and will perform really well in the ring. Not great when they have to talk or vice versa. He's well-rounded. He knows exactly what to say. He gets the heat. He use and and he's that type that isn't too far off of who he naturally is, but he knows like how much of a reaction he gets just naturally and it just works so well. I mean, and he signed, you know, a I don't know, multi-year contract. I don't know if he intends on this being like his next step or his career, but he's, he's someone that can be a legitimate top guy for them. And I I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's true. And yeah, Yeah. I, I mean, I'm with you. I think he's the greatest celebrity professional wrestler of all time. And I can say that definitively after three matches, there've been some good ones. Floyd Mayweather was great. Uh, Bad bunny was great. Mm Mm-hmm. Even but that's Maria like it. Munoz wasn't that bad when she stepped in the ring. Th- yeah. th- there, there have been some good ones. Uh, Stephen Amell was great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I almost oh, forgot about that. Yeah, Stephen Amell did a few matches. He did with a, Cody, he did, right? Cody. With Cody, he worked at All In. He mm-hmm. worked with uh, Pack. He, he worked a lot of good ones. So, yeah, this was this is just so impressive. So I'm I'm with you entirely. 
we saw the fans carry off the goalposts. You remember that? They dumped it in the river. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not happening here in Baton Rouge because <laughs> LSU had, I'm, I'm guessing this guy's name is like Giovanni Manicotti, something like that. <laughs> I, I Yeah, I wish it was that cool. It's great. Look at this guy. I don't care if you're an army of 100,000 fans. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taking that goalpost from this dude. What do you think of LSU putting the meathead in charge of guarding the goalpost here? You know, I think the responses to the photo is the best part. Like the photo itself is great, but I picked out some of my favorite responses. Is it okay if I share those? Yes, please. I would love to hear some of your favorite responses. And these are just four because I could have scrolled for hours because people on Twitter are so creative and far funnier than I will ever dream to be. But um, right. the first one was Jay Glazer working his second job. I admire his side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> so that was something that a lot of people were doing. Yeah, okay. I get that. I see it. If yeah. Jay Glazer was a little more swole, maybe, maybe had a yeah. little like, chicken parms uh, back in his day. I see that. Okay. <laughs> his evil twin brother, maybe. Um, sure. He has people afraid to even look at the goalposts. <laughs> and fair. this one I thought was kind of funny. Um, this is the boulder that chases you in the fourth level of Crash Bandicoot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and size means nothing in a fight. So for all the people who think that he couldn't handle it, I think he, I think he's letting you know. I mean, I yeah, wouldn't well, mess with him. The goalpost didn't go anywhere. So No, it didn't. And I saw a response to the girl who took that photo, I think. She said she didn't understand why he was looking at her funny. So now seeing it viral on Twitter, she's like, oh. I get it now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he didn't even want you taking photos of it. Never mind, no. like coming near it. I'm, I'm loving this. This is so great. I just, I mean, that is a guy that you see in a Sopranos episode, right? Oh yeah, and yeah. and imagine this being like your your rise to infamy. Like this is this is your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, this dude's gonna leverage if he's smart. He's gonna leverage this into a great job offer. Where yeah. he's going to be doing commercials in the Baton Rouge <laughs> area for local security or maybe even an Italian restaurant. Yeah, so, I mean, there's lots of opportunities there. That's for sure. I am all about that. I think that's great. I'm glad <laughs> that they didn't steal the goalposts here. Uh, what What do you guys think of our boy Giovanni Manicotti here? Again, just <laughs> assuming that's his name. Leave us a super chat. Let us know what you're thinking. I would love to hear your thoughts again. You can put them down there over on YouTube uh, or as well. If you would like to contribute, you can also go to KYNchat.com and we will get those read on air as well. If you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid or weird, click the subscribe button below. Otherwise, we'll start posting spoilers about your favorite new movies.